today I want to create a page for my loose leaf art journal. And now I like these chipboard pages as they're nice and sturdy, but the quality of this chipboard is really poor. So I do have to add a good amount of gesso. And for that, I use these silicone spatulas. And then, and then I make a really big mess. I had planned to do a bit of an abstract, but used way too much paint and my color choice was rather poor as well. So as you can see at this point, it goes from bad to worse. And I could have just chucked the page and said, let's just start over again. But sometimes, you know, you can rescue these kind of things by uh, maybe using them in a different way. So as you can see, I added more paint and messed around with it a little more, which still didn't make it look any better. But then at the end, I just took my big spatula and I just scraped all the excess paint off. And I was left with a background, which to me was suitable for a collage. So I would say the start of this video is definitely not a technique. It's more a mistake that turned out just okay. So after this background was dry, I went ahead and cut out some bits and pieces from magazines, uh, different images I wanted to use. Some have similar color than the background, but then I also went ahead and I ripped some pieces in a complementary color like these. It's kind of a pink and a yellow, and it gives it a bit more brightness, which this page uh, needed. And now from here on, I think everything is pretty easy to follow. It's really just a simple collage, but like always, I will put anything you may need to know in the captions, and I will talk to you in just a wee bit. Enjoy! applying the leafing glue rather thinly and that's one reason why you can't see it very well uh, but later on you can tell where all the gold leafing will attach itself because it will only land where the glue will hold on to it. Now after I'm done adding glue here and there all over the place I let it dry quite a bit until it's just a wee bit sticky before applying the leafing. Now even I couldn't see the nearly dried glue very well, so I had to apply this leafing all over the place and kind of feel it with my fingers to see that I didn't miss any of the sticky places.
Now, I really didn't like that thick white line on her hand and on her chin, but the wet wipe took most of it off. There's still a wee bit left, but I'm okay with that. So lots and lots of dots to the top half of the collage. To me, it loosens up the image, gives it some movement, and also pulls things together. So the last thing I did was to write out a quote and I purposely mix up the lower case letters with the capitals. I like that type of font, it's very loose and it's very easy to write this way because you don't have to be exact. So as soon as this little quote is cut and glued down, I'm completely done and as I mentioned to you in the beginning, this today is just a simple project, a simple collage, but I'm quite happy with the outcome. I'm pleased with the colors and that my background was actually usable. And I love some of the images and I think they look really cool together and I hope you like it too. Of course, the gold leafing gives it that little bit special look. So that's all I had for today. Please stay safe and creative. Come and see me soon again and bye bye for now. <music>